Hello painters, crafters and artists everywhere. Today I'm going to look at a piece of resin work that I did previously that had a little bit of damage to it. It had a flaw in the nice glossy resin surface because this one stuck a little bit to the mould that I was using. So I thought it would be a great opportunity for us to try and repair this together and see if we can make a nice glossy surface where the resin is already a little bit damaged. So whether you have um, a place like I did where the, the mould is stuck or whether you have some kind of a void in your resin or a little bit of hair or some dust or something that needs taking care of, let's have a look and see how we can do it. So this is the section of the resin just here where there was a little bit of damage, where it was stuck to the mould. I had to scrape the, the mould basically off the front of the resin here with a little craft knife and it left an area of damage. So I've already gone ahead and done a little bit of uh, work on it. And basically I've used some sandpapers. These are uh, wet or dry sandpapers um, and I've got the first one here is a 220. Generally the higher the number the finer the sandpaper because it's kind of like um, I suppose um, grits per inch or something. So I'm going to just rub over it with this one to start with. I've already made a start and I'm thinking oh my goodness look look at all the scratches on there now you would think that that was ruined but luckily it's not ruined because when we put another coat on the surface of our resin all of these scratches are going to disappear and it will just look as though they never happened at all so that's the fantastic um, way that you can repair your resin problems if you have them so I'm going to go over it a little bit I and mean, the resin um, damage wasn't too bad on here let me just give it a little bit more with my 220 Oh yes, and that is now looking well and truly scratched. Let's see, you can see everywhere else looking nice and glossy and shiny. And this patch, not so good at all. Completely scratched and dull looking. I'm going to put my hand behind it. There we go, you can see what that looks like. So once I've done it with my 220, the next one I've got is an um, 800. So this one is softer and finer. So I would just go over it again. Something a little bit softer. There we go. And depending on how much damage you've got to your resin depends really on how much um, of a repair job that you need to make. Just a little bit more there where I caught it with my craft knife. But really, that's probably all I need to do. So let's take a look. You can see how scratched scratched up that surface is now. So what I need to do is just, um, I'm going to take um, some alcohol over that. So let me just get a little bit and we can clean off this surface, get rid of any dust. So I've got some alcohol and a nice soft cloth. I'm just gonna go over the whole surface of the, of the piece of the resin, including the sides, and give it a good clean. Because I've been handling it, then any grease from the surface of my hands and my fingers, it doesn't need very much, just a little bit of grease can be enough to stop a new resin coat sticking. So I'm using an, a very clean new cloth, some alcohol on there, and just giving it a good clean all over, especially on this area here where I have sanded. I'll get rid of all of the dust, just go around the edges where I've been holding it. And now I'm going to put my gloves on and mix up a little bit of resin and we'll see what it's going to look like with that new coat on. Whew. Hot stuff. Okay, so I have mixed my resin up and basically I'm thinking there are three ways that we could try to repair this. We could either pour another complete coat all the way over, let it run over the sides and do a complete new coat on top of the resin. Or if we've got nice crisp edges, we could try and dome the resin. So rather than let it run over to the sides, you could just put it up to the edge and create a smooth new surface just within the, the, the top surface that you've got. However, I'm cheap. Resin is really, really expensive here. So I've just made up a small amount of resin and what I'm gonna try and do is the, uh, the cheaper, thinner version on top. So basically I'm gonna pour some resin and then use a foam brush, to make sure this is fluff free and just try and smooth it over the top in a very, very thin coat so that I'm not using too much resin and I'm hoping we'll still get the same result. So I'm going to give that a try. I'm going to put my mask back on. Uh, everything will go quiet and then I'll see you back here when we're done.
that's really hot. So I'm going to, um, it looks good. I think I've got exactly the right amount. It's a little spot, no that's right, that's underneath. I've been looking at it really, really carefully in case of any hairs or bits of fluff or anything. There are a few bubbles and of course when you use a foam brush you're always going to get bubbles, whether it's a resin or a varnish. A bit like if you put soap in your squeezy that you do for wash it up and you do this, you get loads of bubbles. So I'm just going to go quickly over the surface with my torch and collect rid of any bubbles. Oh, I can see a hair. There it goes, I've got it. It's an occupational hazard as a avid cat lover. But I end up with hairs. There's a little one there that looks like one of mine. A little bit of dust. Otherwise, I think it's good. So I'm just gonna go over again with the torch. So it looks beautiful. The area up here where the damage was, I don't see that anymore. Um, I need to just fill that in where I've pulled that hair, see if that will level itself a bit more. There we go, that's gonna be better. Perfect. So I think now I just have to put something over the top, um, stop any more hairs and fluff getting into it. I'll come back every five or 10 minutes or so and just check for any bubbles and go over it again with the torch. But fingers crossed, the cheap uh, spread it method is gonna work for us today. So I'll let it cure and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So here we are next morning and it's completely perfect, absolutely fixed. The surface, let's see if I can catch it in the light, it's completely glossy, smooth, free of any defects at all. And that section where I've repaired it is completely perfect. If I bring the corners up to the camera, let's see if we can see, they're all completely clear any um, scratches or whatever that were there. Once the new resin coat is on there, it completely disappears and your piece is perfect again. So I hope that you have success if you have any problems with your resin in repairing these small flaws. And uh, I hope to share some more tutorials and insights and tips with you on the channel in the future. So keep on watching. Actually, that looks really good against the black. Hmm, now that's given me an idea. I wonder if I should put a black coating on the back of this. That could make that look really striking. Okay, so maybe in an upcoming video, I am gonna put some, oh, but the back is so good. Oh, I'm undecided. Maybe not on this one, maybe on another one. I will create um, a resin art like this one, and then instead of leaving it clear, maybe I'll put a black or a white background because it looks really striking like that. I think it could look really good against black or white. Okay, so there we go. You never know where it, <clears throat> you never know when inspiration is gonna strike. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon.